I'll be showing you step by step how to add a Google form to your Shopify store. And it's not going to be a separate link here. It's going to be directly on your store itself. Before I dive into it, if you're looking for a Shopify theme built to make you more money and more sales, check out my very own Shopify theme conversion king. There's a link in the description below. So to get started, I'm going to head to Google forms here. I'm going to create a new blank form. I'm just going to call this test Shopify form. I'm just going to add two blank questions and to save time here, I'm just going to leave this as it is. And what we want to do is import this onto our Shopify store so we can then collect these responses. And so the way we're going to do it is we're going to embed it onto one of our Shopify pages. So to do so, I'll head to the top right here and I'll click on send. By default, it's going to show this email section but where I want to go is these two angled brackets here as I want the embed section. So I'm just going to copy this code here. I'm going to head to my Shopify store next. So from the dashboard, I want to go to online store on the left hand side and from here I want to add to a specific page. So I'll click on pages and here I want to go to add page in the top right. I'm just going to call this page Google form test. Now we don't want to just paste it in the regular content section. What we want to do is in this little text editor in the top right we'll see something called show HTML. So if I click on that there and then I go paste this code in. One thing I'm going to do as well is change the height. It's currently 680. I'm just going to change it to something like 2000. It's going to take up much more of the page and it's not going to be compressed where I have to scroll through it. So I'll hit save here at the top. Next I'll click view page and I can see my form is now displayed on my Shopify store without having to click into an external Google Forms link. There is some styling as well. If we wanted to edit the form here, head back to the form page. I can go to the top here under customize theme and I could change the color to match my Shopify store. Let's say I wanted the title to be a blue here. If I were to head back to my Shopify store, I can see it's now blue on top. I don't mind the white though, as it's gonna blend in a little better. If we wanted to do something like add it to our navigation, I could head to navigation under online store, head to one of our menu items here, and I could click add menu item and search for the specific page, which is called Google Form. I could just leave it as Google Form for now, and I could click add, and then that would appear in my Shopify navigation. Before I go, I want to mention my very own Shopify theme again, Conversion King. It's packed with 20 plus conversion boosting features, saving you up to $1,944 a year on app subscriptions. It comes with a 60 day money back guarantee and it's designed to boost sales in any niche. There's a link in the description below, so make sure you check that out. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much money your store has actually made. And that's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. Once set up, all you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations, including everything from your ad spend, cost goods sold, transaction fees, and much more. It aggregates everything in one place so you can make smarter business decisions as you have a true understanding of your store's profit. It syncs seamlessly with all your favorite ad platforms from Meta, which includes Facebook and Instagram, Google, Bing, Snapchat, Pinterest, and TikTok. There's a 15-day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. There's a link in the description below that's going to bring you to the Shopify app listing directly. You can also search for it on the Shopify app store by searching for Profit Calc and then looking for this logo in the top left here. Again, there's a 15 day free trial, so make sure you check it out. This concludes the video here on how to add Google Forms to your Shopify store. We did so without having to send the customer to an external link so we can keep them within our store. If this video helped at all, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.